Hi, my name is Angela Gross, and I'm a registered dietitian at the St. Cloud VA Healthcare System. Today, I'm going to talk to you about sodium in your diet. As it stands, the average American takes in more than 3,400 milligrams of sodium each day. That's almost 2,000 milligrams more than the 1,500 milligrams that the American Heart Association recommends for ideal cardiovascular health. That much sodium is harmful to your health. Studies link excess sodium intake to the development of elevated blood pressure, which increases the risk of heart attacks, stroke, and kidney disease. There is a well-established body of evidence that links sodium and high blood pressure, and most Americans eat much more sodium than is recommended. The blood pressure response to sodium reduction is direct and progressive. Independent of these effects on blood pressure, excess sodium intake adversely affects the heart, kidneys, and blood vessels, and it is strongly linked to the development and worsening of kidney disease, stroke, and heart attacks. Excess sodium intake has also been linked to kidney stones, asthma, osteoporosis, and gastric cancer. The lifetime risk of developing hypertension is nearly 90%. People who don't currently have high blood pressure will benefit from following the recommendation to consume less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium daily. Less sodium in the diet can help to blunt the rise in blood pressure that occurs as we age and will also reduce the risk of developing other conditions such as kidney disease, associated with excess sodium consumption. Know that one teaspoon of salt is equal to 2,300 milligrams of sodium. Avoid using garlic salt, onion salt, MSG, meat tenderizers, broth mixes, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, barbecue sauce, olives, pickles, bacon bits, and croutons. Use fresh ingredients and foods with no added salt. Look for seasonings or spice blends with no salt or try fresh herbs, onions, or garlic. Do not use a salt substitute unless you check with your doctor or dietitian first due to the potential drug or nu nutrient interactions. For favorite recipes, you may need to use other ingredients and delete the salt added. Salt can be removed from any recipe except for those containing yeast. Try orange, lemon, lime, pineapple juice, or vinegar as a base to meat marinades or to add tart flavor. Avoid convenience foods such as canned soups, entrees, vegetables, pasta and rice mixes, frozen dinners, instant cereal and puddings, and gravy sauce mixes. Select frozen meals that contain around 600 milligrams of sodium or less. Use fresh, frozen, no added salt canned vegetables, low sodium soups, and low sodium lunch meats. Be aware and try to limit the American Heart Association's Salty Six, which include breads, rolls, bagels, flour tortillas, and wraps, cold cuts and cured meats, pizza, poultry, because much of the poultry that we eat are injected with sodium. So check the nutrition facts label for the sodium content and read package for description of the solution. For example, fresh chicken in a 15% solution also soups and sandwiches. Learn to read food labels. Use the label information on food packages to help you make the best low sodium selections. Nutrition labels and an ingredient list are required on most foods, so you can make the best selections for a healthy lifestyle. So let's review some sodium claims on labels. Sodium free indicates that a product contains less than five milligrams of sodium per serving. 
very low sodium indicates that a product contains 35 milligrams of sodium or less per serving. Low sodium indicates that a product contains 140 milligrams of sodium or less per serving. Reduced sodium or less sodium indicates that a product contains at least 25% less sodium than the standard version. But remember, some reduced sodium products are still very high in sodium, so you'll need to check the actual sodium content on the Nutrition Facts panel to see if it fits into your low sodium diet. For example, reduced sodium canned soups, though considerably low in salt than regular canned soups, can still contain almost 500 milligrams of sodium per one cup serving. Light in sodium indicates that a product contains at least 50% less sodium than standard versions. Again, remember, some light in sodium products are still very high in sodium, so you'll need to check the actual sodium content on the Nutrition Facts label to see if it fits into your low sodium diet. For example, light soy sauce, though considerably lower in salt than regular soy sauce, still contains 500 to 600 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. Unsalted or no salt added indicates that no sodium is added to the product during processing, but the product still contains the sodium that naturally occurs in the product's ingredients. If a product is labeled as healthy, it must contain no more than 480 milligrams of sodium for an individual food item or no more than 600 milligrams for a meal or main dish. Some mistakes to avoid when reading a food label. Remember, reduced is not low if the original product has 1,000 milligrams of salt. Sodium is just reduced by 25%. Low sodium means less than 140 milligrams per serving, and always watch the portion sizes. Do not assume that a small package item, such as from a vending machine, is just one serving. A small bag of pretzels may contain two and a half servings, so you would need to multiply that amount of sodium by two and a half. So what should I eat? It's best to shop the perimeter of the store. You want to check the labels and always choose fresh, frozen, canned fruit when possible. Look for fresh, frozen, or low sodium canned vegetables. Select breads and low salt crackers. Purchase fresh or frozen meat rather than canned or cured meats. If you would like more information on how to reduce your sodium intake, please contact the nutrition clinic to schedule an appointment with a registered dietitian.